Hi, Jason here, and in this video, I'm going to be testing out nine of the best AI or chat GPT detector tools that are available right now now. So it depends which side of the fence you are. Maybe you're, you know, an educator or something and you want to check uh, for your pupil's homework, then you can use these AI detectors if they're lazy. Uh, and then if you're an internet marketer and you want to create SEO blog posts and things, but you don't want them to be uh, found out as it were as being AI generated from maybe Google, then I'm going to show you a solution as well at the end, which will get your uh, articles or blog posts through all of these detectors. But first of all, let's try them out and just see how effective they are so that you can test your content. So what I've done is create a farm fresh article here right from chat GPT. I've asked it to write me a 500 word article on motivation and how to stay motivated. That's pretty good actually, I have to say. I read it and I felt like a new man. But if I just copy this content now and we can start the ball rolling, Let's just copy that. Okay, so to make this a lot easier, by the way, I actually went ahead and created a whole directory of all of the uh, AI and chat G GPT detectors that I'm going to be using. There's a link underneath this video and it will link to this page right here, my new chat GPT detector directory. Uh, and you can just quickly go to all of the detectors like this. So it'd be a lot quicker than having to keep typing them all in. So that's underneath. But the first one is original. Originality.ai. This one's being touted quite a lot. And here it is right here. You can content scan for both uh, AI detection and also uh, plagiarism, which is another thing that uh, people commonly want to know is, you know, is my content being plagiarized, basically. So if I paste in the article right here, let's see how well uh, this does. Ooh, look at that. So originality.ai has detected it as 99%. AI, so an absolute uh, nightmare in terms of being caught there. Now, if we also do a plagiarism check, let's let's just scan again here. Now, I think they might give you a couple of free scans with originality, but you can buy credits, and they're so cheap, uh, it's crazy, and you don't use many per time that you scan, so it's it's well worth it. I think it's. Um, really reliable. There you go. So it's detected no plagiarism there as well within the article. So that's good news. So at least the content that ChatGPT produces is not plagiarized. It's just being detected as AI, that's all, by these detectors. So the next one on our list was this one, Content at Scale. Really good um, software, by the way. It's, it's, it's not cheap. However, it is free to do this. But if you want to create loads of AI articles that don't get detected by a AI detectors, then content at scale have got a whole load of uh, pricing plans where you can, it just produces incredible articles with FAQs at the end and everything as well. Definitely worth checking them out. So here's our article. Let's see how well this particular system does. It might be that it's that it's too much. Oh no, here we go. Look at this. The human content score is just 5% and it says obviously AI. So this is a good detector. This works really well. And as I say, this is free um, and you can, you know, go ahead and use their service if you want to produce content that will go straight through this without any messing around. The next one is writer.coms. Now, uh, what I like about writer.coms AI detection is you can add a URL in there. So if you've got a link to a web page or something, an article page, you can just paste in the URL and it will scan that. Or you've got the freedom to just paste in some text. Now it's uh, limited you to one and a half thousand characters. So what, all you need to do is just go back and delete a little bit of it until it reaches that limit. And then it will at least do your first, there you go, I'm up to 1446 characters. So I'm within their limit for free detection. Click analyze text. And let's see how it goes. So it's saying 56% human generated. So it's still not, um, you know, coming up as pure human. So it is getting the fact that it is been, uh, has been written by ChatGPT or something similar. Now, this one's really good as well. This is GPT-0. And if I just paste in the text on this one, good thing is with this is you can also upload PDFs docx files and txts now that's going to be really handy i would imagine for educators you know who are having content submitted in in sort of doc format now let's click the results and see what happens there you go your text is likely to be written entirely by ai 
and it's just highlighted the whole thing. And it gives you some different stats down there as to the perplexity score and burstiness. These are two uh, methods of uh, judging the content. And, and so this is a, a good one. It's clearly worked first time, no problem at all. Now, here is the newest one, which is OpenAI's own content um, detector. So let's paste in an article from ChatGPT straight into OpenAI's AI text classifier. This is going to be quite amusing. I would imagine it, it would pick it up. I really would hope so. Oh, wow. The classifier considers the text to be unclear if it's AI generated. So, so far, the worst AI detector is OpenAI's AI text detector, <laughs> written written by themselves and they can't detect it. So that's really quite surprising, isn't it? Let's move on to our next one, which is GP2 output. Now, this one is the one uh, by Hugging Face and it's very nice and clean, very easy to do. And you just paste the content in and there you go. It's saying 99.91% fake. So this is a very good one here. Uh, and, you know, this is very simple and easy to use. As you can see, just paste it straight in. Next one I found was a cross plug. You have to sign up for a free account, but you get to use this as well. So it's really good. Let's just paste this in and let's see if it can do the job. And it is two picked up. This is 100% written by AI generators. So that's that's a very good uh, example of how that one works. So that's worked really good. Next one is copyleaks.com. And we'll paste that in there. They also have a, a Chrome extension as well. But let's see how well this one does too. I've got a feeling that this may be using like an API to connect to Hugging Face. But here you are, it's 79.5% probability for AI and AI content has been detected. So that's that's almost all of them, except for one, which is, if we go back to our list here, is this one, which is percent human. And that is actually just uh, a little Chrome plugin that you can get. And you literally just highlight the text that you want to check. And then you go to that uh, app. I don't think I have it on here because I'm using my uh, extensions in uh, private. But you just literally copy it and then it will just show you whether or not it feels that's AI text or not. So those are all of them. Now, how do you get around it? So if you are a marketer and you want to try and, you know, get your articles as seen as being human, even though they are generated by ChatGPT or some other AI writing software, well, you use this, which is Quillbot, and they have a free account as well. Again, there is a link on this page just here, the ChatGPT uh, detector directory, just there, Quillbot, um, and it does say need a solution to bypass this. You can click on that. It will take you to Quillbot. Get a free account. Now what you can do is take the content that was written by the uh, AI. So we'll take this chat GPT content right here. Let's just uh, see if we can actually copy it in one go. And then so have a look here. There we are. That's done. Now I can go to here and I can paraphrase it. So we paste our text in and then you click paraphrase just here and then it's going to go through and start changing words that mean the same. So we can see the varying changes that have been made by clicking on them. This, you can see at the, at the moment it says motivation plays a crucial role in achieving success. And then on the paraphrase one, it says success in all areas of life, whether it be personal or professional, depends heavily on motivation. So it's just change things around like that. And if you're not happy with anything, you can click on the word and then it says like it gives you other variations. So I'm going to choose areas of one's life. And once you're happy with that, you literally just copy it. So we'll take the that there, copy it. And now you can paste that into, you know, your blog or whatever you're using to uh, paste the content or put, you know, use the content. Now, if we go back to the detectors, let's see how well it works. So we're going back to originality and I'm going to uh, go to the content scan and we can start a new scan just here. I'm going to paste that same article in that's been rewritten and fingers crossed it goes through okay 
And if it doesn't the first time, you can still play around with it in Quillbot anyway and get it to go through. So it's scanning away right now. While that's happening, why don't we just go to the next one, which was this one, the content as scale. And we'll try again with this article. So let's see if we can scroll down. There we go. Check for AI content. See how well it's doing. Should we nip back to originality and see if that's managed to do it? There you go. Originality has come back now with 98% original and just 2% AI. So using Quillbot has literally transformed that uh, article from an AI generated content and being detected everywhere to not being detected. Let's go over to here as well. This, this one's still running just now, so we'll move on and we'll go to the writer.com. Let's paste that one in. We're going to have to get rid of some of the characters, of course, with this just to get it to go through the 1,500 max. That will do. There's 1,200 to work with. Let's analyze the text. 100% human generated. Next up, chat. Uh, oh, this is just gpt0.me. Let's clear off the old one, paste in the new one. We've ticked to agree to terms and get results. Now let's see how it goes. Now this one has found that it's just got a couple of paragraphs in that are not quite right. But overall, it's saying it may include parts written by AI. So you could say that this is perhaps the most difficult one to get past at the moment. But anything like this, you could just take that first paragraph there, or first sentence rather, go to the rephrasing tool and just have it rephrase it again uh, like this. And then take it back and test it out if you really want to be fussy and make sure it's 100%. Next up, let's go to our friends at OpenAI and paste in the newly rewritten article and see what it says. And it's coming up as possibly, but then it seems to say possibly for everything. So I'm not too concerned. And to be honest, I don't really rate this one. Uh, then we've got the Hugging Face one, this GP2 output detector. That was coming up real bad before. So now let's see what it says. Now it's saying 99.98% real. So that is fantastic. A really good increase in its effectiveness. And then we've got this one, the cross plague. Let's just go and paste in our rewritten article there. It's pretty fast, this one. There you go. Look at that. That is coming up. Text mainly written by a human and only 1% AI detected content. So it's gone from one end of the scale right the way through to the other. So that's incredible. Uh, and then this one here, the copy leaks one, it was previously 79.5% probability of AI. So let's clear that out, paste in our new one, and then click check. And now we're looking at this human text, brilliant. And it is coming up at 93.9% .9 probability for human. So really good. Now, guys, if you're finding this useful, please do like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And we, we were waiting for this one to come up. Now, content at scale has said that this is only 35% human. So this is also a tough cookie to get around by the look of it. So we would just go to Quillbot again if we wanted to pass this particular detector. We would go to the paraphrasing tool and we can try some different ones here. There's, there's fluency, for example. It will, it will change up the text in a different way. And then you can just take it, copy it, to go back to the AI detector and then paste it in again and just see how well it does this time until you get it to pass basically but for the vast majority of detectors by using quillbot there is uh, you know it is the way to get round them so that is that is really worth doing and you can get a free account you can click a link underneath this video to jump straight over to quillbot they've also got a uh, chrome plugin as well it's free and over here, they even have a plagiarism checker as well. So you can check for that sort of thing too on there. 
Uh, so that's it. I think that is that is everything covered. That is all of the AI detects that I found so far. As I find more, I'm going to add them to uh, chatgptdetectors.com. There it is. There's the URL right there. There's a link underneath this video. And I'm just going to keep adding them on. And then uh, you will get a little pop-up on here as well. If you want to be notified of future detectors, if I keep adding them to this page, if you want to try them out, just put your name and email. Actually, you don't even need a name. I think you just put your email in there. And then I'll email you through as I've updated this uh, website here for you. So that's it from me. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you got some value from this video. And if you did, as I say, please do like and subscribe and I'll do more. All right. Take care and have a great day.